What's up guys, I'm back at you with another video, and I know I said I might do a battle video with Giratina against my brother, but I've decided that that will be a future video, and instead I will continue with my series of my favorite top 5 to 10 Pokemon from every region. So this video, I've decided for it to be Sinnoh, my favorite region I've been greatly awaiting the time of this video to be put out because I'm really excited to tell you guys my top 10 favorite Pokemon from the Sinnoh region. All right, I'll start with number 10. Number 10 is Rhyperior. I really like Rhyperior a lot because of the effort it took me to evolve it to Rhyperior in Pokemon Go since I had a three-star IV Rhydon that I really wanted to evolve for PvP purposes, and just about two to three weeks ago, I finally evolved it, and it's actually really great in PvP. So yeah, I decided to put Rhyperior at number 10 because of that, and I really like its shiny form too, being golden rocks on part of its body. Number nine, the regional bird, Staraptor. Staraptor looks super cool because of the design of its hair on its head, and the way it um, swirls and curves on its head, I think that's really cool. And flying type Pokemon have never been a big fan of them, unless they're flying type legendaries, which there are a lot of, if there aren't enough dragon flying types at all. So yeah, I like Staraptor a lot, and I do tend to be fond of regional birds because of their special um, regional look to them that's, um, that's supposed to represent their um, the way birds are supposed to live in their region, I guess. And number eight, this might be an unpopular opinion, but number eight is Regigigas. I really do like Regigigas in the absence of the other Regis. I like Regigigas the most. The other Regis I could care less for, but Regigigas does look pretty cool. I like the robotic sense to it. And the color scheme is uh, great, too. Number seven, <laughs> the god of all Pokemon, Arceus, or Arceus, no matter how you say it. I still really like Arceus as a Pokemon. And if you're a MNJ TV watcher, you say it as Arcus. So, yeah, I like Arceus a lot. I like its backstory of creating the whole Pokemon world. And let's go ahead and jump into number six. Number six, my favorite starter fully evolved evolution of all time, Torterra. I've always liked Torterra, Turtwig, and the middle evolution of Turtwig. I've always liked them a lot because I'm very fond of turtles. I actually have my own baby turtle in its tank right over there. And uh, we actually rescued it off a sidewalk um, near a school, or my brother's school, actually. But I've always liked turtles. I've had turtles since I was very young. Sadly, they are not with us anymore. But, yeah, I still like Torterra a lot because of the way it was created as a turtle. Number five, Garchomp. I like Garchomp a lot because of its design and its pre-evolution, Gibble. Gibble is super cute. It was recently featured in the GoFest 2020 as one of the rarest Pokemon to spawn, one of the rarest Pokemon to spawn in the wild in Pokemon Go, and I was really hunting for that shiny. Sadly, I did not get it, but if you want to see the other shinies I got, go ahead and check out uh, the video that I created two days ago. I believe it was, uh, let's see, today's Thursday, so I created it on Tuesday. Number four, Luxray. Luxray has got to be in my top 15 Pokemon of all time, really, because I know I know what you might be saying. It is number four, but I have a lot of Pokemon that are my favorites in, are in my top 10 and stuff from Sinnoh because it is my favorite region. I've always liked Sinnoh because of its biodiversity. And um, yeah, Luxray is super cool. I like the design of a um, electric type lion, I guess you could say. And Shinx is really cute, too. Number three, my f one of my favorites, if not my favorite, legendary Pokemon, 
Giratina. Giratina I've always liked so much because of the value of it in PvP. And uh, the, its design is just super cool. Its background being in the, um, the underground realm of Sinnoh called... I don't exactly remember the name. But uh, yeah, I like Giratina's background and it looks super cool too. Number two, probably my favorite, if it is my favorite mythical, Darkrai. Darkrai is my favorite mythical because of its background of valiantly defending its territory against any other Pokemon that might come into it by giving them um, <laughs> essentially bad dreams. And I think the design of the Pokemon is pretty cool and the dark type being my second favorite type uh, makes it all the better. Number one, you may have been expecting this since I have mentioned it in many videos, but to keep the suspense rolling, I'll go into the honorable mentions first. For the honorable mentions, I have five places to fill. Number five being Dialga. Dialga, I I like, I guess, I, I definitely do like Dialga. It's um, very good in PvP, Dragon Breath being one of the most um, the best moves to use in a PvP sense, and possibly the best to use for a Dragon-type fast move. And uh, here we go with number four. Number four is Heatran. I don't really have much of an emotional connection with Heatran, but I do like its design. And um, I wouldn't say it's super good at PvP for Pokemon Go or in its own region, the Sinnoh region, for being a legendary of a, the Fire-type. But let's go ahead and head into number three. Number three is Dusk Noir. Dusk Noir, I have become to like a lot. I did once have a shiny Dusk Lops that I did evolve into shiny Dusk Noir, but I did trade it away. But before that, I did do a few battles with it, and it was pretty powerful, I would say, as it being a level 100 perfectly IV trained Dusk Noir. I would say that's a pretty cool Pokemon to have. Number two, Leafeon. Leafeon may well be my third or fourth favorite evolution, but I still really like its design of having um, 3D leaf shapes on it, one of them being on its head and one of them being its tail. I like how that was incorporated into the design of Leafeon. Number one, my second favorite starter from the Sinnoh region, that is fully evolved, of course, Infernape. Infernape is super cool. I do like the combination of fire and fighting. I think it was just um, very overwhelmingly used um, within those couple regions that um, it had become a trend for Nintendo to make uh, a uh, fully evolved starter fire fighting. But Infernape, in my opinion, might have just been my favorite out of them. Now, it may be a biased opinion since it is a Sinnoh starter, fully evolution, but I do like Infernape a lot. I have become fond of monkeys like Chimchar and other Pokemon that are similar to it. But Infernape being a fire monkey, I thought uh, it was a pretty cool concept. So, number one. I'm sure you have all been waiting for this one. And if you have watched my channel for a while, you might already know what's coming. But my favorite Pokemon of all time at number one spot in Sinnoh is Lucario. I've always loved Lucario as a Pokemon. Its shiny form is my favorite shiny. Its shiny mega form is my favorite shiny mega. And its normal shiny is my favorite shiny Pokemon. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure that explains itself. But thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. In the next video, I will do my top 10 favorites, not including the um, honorable mentions. My next video will be my top 10 favorite Pokemon from the Kalos region. So make sure to stay tuned to the channel, and um, I'll see you next time and in the next video. Bye!